Hi, my name is Fernando Galeto. I'm a student of a uh, master in electronics engineering in La Trobe University in Melbourne, Australia. And this is my final project presentation. So, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. So, I'm going to start with the table of contents of my presentation. On um, this presentation, I'm going to talk about my project background and objective. And I'm going to give a brief description of the hardware, the model, and dataset, and how it was implemented. And finally, I will show you some results and the conclusions. Construction sites are very busy places and they can be a very dangerous environment because sometimes many constructors are working at the same time. Personal protective equipment or PPEs are the last resort when the risk cannot be minimized and they protect the workers from illness and injuries. Sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, workers not wear them because different reasons such as they are comfortable, they look unattractive, or they decrease the productivity, I think all this. So the objective of this project are these two. Well, first, check whether workers are wearing or not the appropriate uh, PPEs. Then notify the supervisor with someone and uh, enter inside without any PPEs and this will lead to increase the safety on the construction site. On this slide we can see the block diagram of my project. So we can see that the I have a Raspberry Pi camera that takes a frame from the construction site and also the Raspberry Pi using OpenCV process those images and feed the neural network on the internet near computer stick where the inference is performed. Then the Raspberry Pi again a compute and evaluate all the the output from the inference and get the bounding boxes for the uh, with the object detected. On this, slide, in, on this slide, we can see the hardware that I have used. So um, I have used uh, very common um, parts such as the Raspberry Pi 3 Model D Plus and the a Raspberry Pi camera. I designed a 3D case to uh, um, 3D case, yeah, to put everything on it and to display and avoid using a, a screen. To display the result, I'm using a sensor that has a LED matrix in it. But the most special part of this product is the neural computer stick. This stick is a USB stick that has a GPU, it's a visual processing unit. Well, an Intel Mobidius Myriad X is embedded on it and it's used for Com uh, visual computer vision and artificial intelligence infer inference. So this is, this is take allow us to run neural networks without needing to connect to internet or the big clouds to perform the inference. So on the right side of the screen you can see my end product. product. So I put everything on a tripod so I can install it on a construction site. This is a, a first prototype, so it's still not I, it's still not waterproof, or it doesn't have any battery backup unit, so it's a very first prototype. It will be improved in the future. The model I have chosen to do the object detection is called YOLO. YOLO stands for you only look once. This model um, it's based on the human fact that the fact that humans can detect what they uh, what objects and which position they have in, in an image with only looking at it once. Um, 
this model is has been written in using Darknet. The Darknet is an open source framework for neural networks. You look at one advantage over other detect, detection algorithms is that the YOLO is very fast because as it, its name says it, it only looks to the image once. So YOLO receives an input frame and divide it into an, a grid cell, for some S by S grid cell, and then each of those cells is in charge of detecting a number of bounding boxes. Those bounding boxes has its coordinates and also the confidence number for that cell to contain a, an object on it. So at the output of the network we have multiple bounding boxes and if we apply the non-maximum suppression algorithm we will get only one bounding box per object in the, in the image. As you can see here in the three pictures at the bottom of the slide and the bike and the dog and the car. See? To train YOLO, I have created a dataset with 2,000 images. And in those images, I have to label all the objects from those images using a software that allows me to do that. And though that will take me too much time, so I just decided to borrow 1,000 images from a, another existing dataset only for person because I couldn't find any that said for hard or best so my data set is the only one available now for me and also I have used data augmentation then it is a technique that changing some parameters of an image in the data set I can create a new image without needing to relabel it for example, if I take a picture and I change the brightness and then I save it again, the, the position of the object won't change, so I don't need to relabel it. That would help me a lot. Because if I change also the, the size of the image, I just change the size of the annotation and that's it. I don't need to spend more time. Anyway, I spend like a, a week to do my data set. And then, then I start training. And the training took me 72 hours in my computer. That is an Intel Core i7-6500U uh, with 12 GB of RAM and an MD, in, in a GPU of the NVIDIA GeForce 928. So, I did 72 hours of training with 160,000 iterations. And I got the like 0.55 average. Oh, for the implementation, I use, um, as I told you, uh, I was using the Intel Neural Computer Speed 2. So for that, I need uh, Open Linux Toolkit. So, to be able to run the network in the stick, I need to convert the, the Darknet model into an IR, an intermediate representation of the network. For that, I use OpenBeam Toolkit. So the workflow of the OpenBeam Toolkit can be seen on the screen. And it's very easy. First, you train the model and train it using Darknet. I convert that to TensorFlow because Darknet is not supported by OpenVINO. So once I got the TensorFlow model, I got the IR representation running the model optimizer of OpenVINO. Um, with the IR, I was able to execute the network using the inference engine. And I use a, just a simple uh, Python API to interface the user with the, with the network. So in this slide, I believe it's in the slide that I really like more, is the results slide. So I 
you can see on the screen five images that I input in, fit to the network and I got the results and the bounded boxes. So oh, as you can see the results are amazing, it's very good. And one thing to that I want you to know is that in the data set at the beginning I was trying to detect high visibility clouds, so I label every high visibility clothes, jacket, jumper as a vest. That's why in the first image you are detecting a vest, but it's not actually a vest, it's just more like a t-shirt or something like that. But that's what I wanted to do. And also you can see in my data set most of the people were workers, so we come across as a normal individual person you can see that the, the level of confidence is lower but still being detected as a person like in the last image when the police is with the elder guy but yeah come on you can see the very good results here um, now I'm gonna show you the result of the of my project this is running on a Raspberry Pi and I got 4 frames per second for the frame rate which is very amazing especially because I was using only 20% of the GPU of the CPU from the Raspberry Pi all the heavy load from the neural network was being done on the neural computer stick the resolution for the images are 416 by 416 uh, yeah, you can see that every Every object is being detected. Sometimes there are a few false uh, detections, but overall it's a very good result. Different position. I need to tell you that I haven't used any picture of that base and that hat uh, or any picture of me on this data set so all of the detections here are product of the generalization of my network so very nice to conclude this presentation I'm gonna review what we have done so far uh, I have created an offline PP detector uh, using YOLO and trying it with a custom dataset. The model was converted from Darnet to its uh, IR using OpenVINO model optimizer. And the network was de deployed on a neural computer stick 2, connected to a Raspberry Pi, getting a 4 frames per second frame rate, which is very good. I thought there was some wrong detection, the result were more than an acceptable. For further work, to the work, I would like to increase the data set to retain the network to get if to improve the accuracy, and also I would like to add more classes to my system, such as uh, hard steel uh, boot, gloves, or glasses, and of course improve the user interface because I haven't put any effort on that yet because I have no time. And definitely I will be doing that in the future and something that I wanted to do as well is add multiple IP, IP cameras to acquire the images and not the Raspberry Pi cameras so I can use actual existing cameras on the construction site and just processing those images thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed this session